Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another live broadcast, another episode of Living in the Overflow with me, your host, Kevin Davis. So I'm excited to be with you as I'm coming to you live all the way from Somerset West in the Western Cape of South Africa. And I trust that this week has been absolutely phenomenal as uh, it is indeed the build up to Christmas. So wherever you may be watching from, I trust that you are having a fantastic time with friends or family and um, that you are blessed. If you could uh, go into the comment section of uh, your platform, irrespective of whether it be uh, Facebook, YouTube, we are live on Twitter as well, Twitch and Kick. So uh, just let me know in the comments where you are participating from. Uh, I'd love to be able to read those comments even after the fact. And um, these things really just bless me uh, tremendously. And also, you are more than welcome to send me some of your praise reports, uh, your incredible testimonies of what the Lord has done, or maybe even what it is that really has stood out to you as we have been live and dealing with this particular topic over this last week. If you've missed any of these episodes as it pertains to living in the overflow, you can simply go to my Facebook page, you can go to YouTube, you can search for Kevin Davis, and you would be able to find all of the information and all of these episodes right there available for you to watch and re-watch over and over again. <clears throat> and uh, this is something that is absolutely free of charge. So once more, I trust you've got your, your cups of coffee, you've got your, uh, you've, you've got your Bible ready, because we're going to get into the Word of the Lord, and we are doing so right now. So if uh, you do have your Bible, I'd like for you to uh, open up. We are going to the uh, book of Proverbs yet again. It's been a fascinating journey over this last week as we have uh, touched on a great number of, uh, call it different subtopics uh, or sub uh, sections as it pertains to the topic of living in the overflow. And um, we started off by talking about the importance that we should understand that God wants us to prosper, that uh, the word of God declares that God delights in the prosperity of his people. And then also we uh, the second day we spoke about the fact that we should take our covenant with God seriously, that there is power in partnership as we partner with God and also as we partner with other ministries. And also just uh, on that particular note, thank you so much to every single one of you that have already partnered with us, that are standing with us in faith. And uh, if you would like to get some more information about that, you can go to dominion.org.za forward slash partnership. Thank you so much in advance for your generosity and for opening up your hearts as we stand together. The Bible says that one can put a thousand to flight, but two, 10,000. So there is indeed incredible power. And we see the principle of multiplication at play when we come together and we enter into partnership as we invest in the kingdom of God and advance his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And um, we also then yesterday spoke about the importance of getting into agreement with God as it pertains to our future. We spoke about the fact that identity and purpose and ultimately destiny derives from the Lord. And we need to ensure that we seek his counsel and seek wisdom as we gain knowledge as it pertains to even the subject of prosperity. Because the decisions we make not only determines where we will spend eternity, but our decisions also affect our quality of life. And um, so, you know, just receiving Jesus as Lord and Savior, yes, you go to heaven, but Jesus does not want you to simply live a mediocre life right here on earth. So make your life, the one life that you've been given, make sure that you make your life count. And so this morning, what we want to talk about and what I want to share is the importance and the ability to launch out with God. So this is something that speaks of tremendous bravery, of courage that is required. And um, these are some of the things that I'm going to be touching on on the 31st of December, when I'm going to be sharing the word of the Lord for 2024 with every single one of you, both those who will be in the service with us on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right here in Somerset West on the 31st of December, but also for those who will be watching by means of live stream. 
And so let's get into this morning four scriptures that I want to share. Well, let's just make it three for today that I want to share with you. Proverbs 19, 21 in the Amplified Classic, it says, Many plans are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. You see, we can come up with all kinds of plans. And I want you to, uh, to just understand the emphasis here on the plural form of plan. That man does not just have a single plan, typically. Typically, man has many plans, plural. And we find that even though a man might have many plans, even though we can come up with many plans, we've got many things that we, you know, that we can come up with, things that we want to do. But ultimately, the Bible says it is the purpose of God that will stand. Why is that important? You see, there is something that is, uh, that is referred to and can be referred to as the eternal purpose of God. There is a purpose that is so dear to the heart of God. It was conceived in his father heart before time that we know even began. So in eternity past, a time outside of time, God conceived a plan and a purpose. And I want you to specifically hear the word purpose, that God determined in his heart a particular purpose. And this is why we refer to it as the eternal purpose of God. It exists outside of the realms of the constraints of time itself. And then it was conceived in him and it was revealed through Jesus. It was consummated through Jesus, through his earthly ministry and that which he has come to establish. But then also we are seeing the role that we are to play as a result of that which had transpired as it pertains to the eternal purpose of God. So we can come up with all kinds of plans. And hey, we can come up with some very good plans. We can come up with some extremely strategic plans and plans that seem appealing to us, plans that seem to work for us. But it's not about our plans. It's not about our agenda. It is about getting onto the agenda of God. And what is that referring to? It's about his eternal purpose. The book of Romans chapter 8, in fact, says in verse 28 that we have been called according to God's eternal purpose. So you are called not to come up with your own plans, but to commit your plans to God, whose purpose trumps every single one of our plans. And God does not have many purposes. <laughs> he has a single purpose a single purpose for this world, a single purpose for this nation, a single purpose for you. And it is important, it is imperative of you to be able to tap into the reality of God's eternal purpose as it pertains to this world, but also as it pertains to his purpose for you. Then number two, Proverbs 16, verse three, it says, roll your works upon the Lord, commit and trust them fully to him. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. So shall your plans be established and succeed. So there's nothing wrong. I just spoke about having your plans. And obviously I was referring to coming up with all kinds of plans that are outside of the purpose of God. But now I want to just zone in or hone in on our plans. There is nothing wrong in having vision. There is nothing wrong in having a plan. There's nothing wrong in having a dream and working towards fulfilling that dream. But the word of God makes it clear that we are to commit these plans to God. Why is that important? Because what in essence happens is as though God filters those plans. He weighs up those plans and everything that does not carry his approval, he will reject. He will make known to you. But those things that carry his approval will not only carry his approval, those things will also carry his divine endorsement. That is where favor locates you. That is where destiny helpers come all around you. That is where you find yourself entering into a new season without you having to come up with more plans and more plans. This is where your plans that you have, your dream, your vision, your passion, and everything you will do is absolutely in harmony, in sync with the purpose 
of God. So we have to commit our plans to him. And whatsoever God approves, he will endorse. And when you have his endorsement, you have the full backing of heaven. Favor locates you. Destiny helpers locate you. And I pray even prophetically over every single one of you this morning, as you commit your plans to the Lord, even at the end of this year, as you commit your plans to him, it will be his purpose for you that will stand. But may his favor locate you now in Jesus' name. May destiny helpers locate you. May you be amply supplied for the task at hand. For you shall not enter into 2024 the way that you entered into 2023. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And then number three, the final scripture for today. Proverbs 16 verse 9. It says, a man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. Again, we see the emphasis on committing our plans unto the Lord so that his purpose may stand, that he endorses you, that he backs you up, that his favor locates you, destiny helpers locate you. Why? And also that he directs your steps and he makes them sure. So in other words, you can walk out into 2024 with a bold, sure confidence. And that's what we're talking about. You see, you do not have to go into this mode where, you know, you have to come up with this plan and come up with that plan. You know, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? You can enter into his rest. Knowing that the work, the work that you do, knowing that the next step that you take, it's a step of dominion. It's a step of authority. It's a step of power and that his favor is backing you up every step of the way. And even along the way, destiny helpers are there to assist. But there is a boldness that comes over you. As you know, you are stepping into something that is not as the result of your own plans. It's not as a result of something that you just decided one day, hey, this seems like a good idea. It's not something that you saw worked with someone else and you simply tried to be a copycat of that which worked for someone else. God has a unique plan and a unique purpose for you. So commit your plans unto him and walk in his divine purpose with a safety and with a security, with a boldness. And as I said in the beginning, it requires bravery and courage to enter in and venture into something brand new. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you shall be the first in your family to establish that which God has called you to do. You shall be the first in your family to break that curse of poverty. You shall be the first in your family that will break that curse of lack, of need, of want. You shall be the first in your family to start a business. You shall be the first in your family that will start and run a successful and thriving business and businesses. You shall be the first in your family that will buy that dream home. You shall be the first in your family that will purchase that first vehicle cash. You shall be the first in your family to be able to take your family on holiday once or twice a year. You shall be the first in your family to be positioned in a place of prosperity and abundance as you have committed your plans unto him and his purpose for you shall now stand in Jesus name. That is a declaration of God, a prophetic declaration unto every single one of you. Wherever you may be from, irrespective of your vocation, your job, your skill set, your ability, your talents, irrespective of all of that, commit your plans unto God. There are opportunities that are available to you right here and right now for you to step out and to do something brand new. You see, the definition of insanity, according to Albert Einstein, was doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. Apply your hand to something. Put your hand to something. You might say, I'm a tither. I'm a giver. But what are you putting your hand to? You need to be able to commit something into the hand of God so that he can bless it and multiply because even a billion times zero remains zero. And if the Lord is saying that, even if I want to bless you a billion times over, you need to be able to commit something into his hand. So make sure that you do something, you know, go and write that play, 
Go and write that book. Produce that music. Go and perform that act. Do what it is you need to do. Open that uh, that YouTube channel. You know, start that Facebook page. Start posting. Start writing. Start being creative. Apply yourself. Open up that business. You know, engage in that side hustle. I mean, do what you know you have to do. This is going to be 2024, the year of the open door and exciting doors of opportunity lay begging for you to be able to capitalize on it, for you to be able to grab a hold of it, because there are things that God is opening up to you, to your business, to your ministry, to your family. If only you would be brave enough and courageous enough and have faith to be able to see through the eyes of faith and vision, not through your carnal eyes, because people who are going to be looking through their carnal eyes will see nothing but the socioeconomic climate. They will see nothing but the political climate. They will see nothing but calamity and chaos and confusion, especially in South Africa and in the United States of America, 2024 being election year. So there's going to be a lot of talk. There's going to be a lot of noise. There's going to be a lot of confusion and there might even be chaos to a large extent. However, what is important is that God's purpose will stand. His purpose does not sway as a result of the political climate. His purpose does not sway as a result of the socioeconomic climate. His word is secure. His word is the truth. It is yes and it is amen. And that is what I wanted to just end off with as we wrap up this short series on living in the overflow is to for you to know that there is hope for you to know that God delights in the prosperity of his people for you to take the practical steps to enter in to that space of abundance by you creating wealth for the Lord has given you the ability to create wealth and by doing so affirm the covenant that he has made with you. And so God is wanting to prove himself strong on your behalf for his name's sake. So make sure that you do your part in fulfilling your end of that covenant. And so I want to give you an opportunity this morning to partner with us by faith. You can go to dominion.org.za forward slash partnership. And this is an opportunity for you to become one of our monthly dominioners, one of our monthly partners who say we will stand with you in faith. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but every single month. And it's not about the amount. I mean, there are some who might be able to say, you know what, we want to just be a blessing. We can do 50 rands a month. There might be those who say, you know what, the Lord has blessed us this year. We're going to be able to do 500 rand. And there's others who might say, the Lord has been so good to us this year. We're going to be able to bless you and be with you and stand with you in faith with 5,000 rands a month. I mean, irrespective of where you are at, just do something. As we said before, one can put a thousand to flight, but two ten thousand. So there is power in partnership. And also we see the multiplication factor and principle being activated when two or more come together in agreement and operate by faith. Also, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed. And this morning we can, uh, I just feel in my heart to coin this and to refer to this as a thanksgiving seed. We give thanks to the Lord unto, uh, as a result of that which he's done for us this year. I mean, you could have been anywhere right here, right now, but look how far you have come. And so this is going to be our Thanksgiving seed. And also, this is a seed of consecration. As we consecrate this next year, as we say, Lord, we are entering into this new year, brave, bold, courageous, knowing that your purpose for us will stand and that the seed, in essence, that we are sowing today is but a reflection of the fact that we are saying, and we are decreeing and declaring that we trust in the name of the Lord. And so if you've got your seed ready and if you've gone to or are going to dominion.org.za forward slash give, let me pray over you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every single one who's been listening to the sound of my voice. I thank you for impartation. I thank you for activation. I thank you for a powerful release of prosperity and abundance so that every single Christian, every single believer may live in the overflow in Jesus name. Father, I thank you for everyone who's been watching over this week as well. Lord, I pray your blessing over their lives, over their marriages over their families, over their children and their children's children, over their businesses, their ministries. Lord, that every area of their lives will speak and, and, and reveal the overflow of God in their lives. 
in Jesus' name. And Father, this morning, as people are already just getting ready to sow a seed by faith, a consecration seed for this new year, saying, we trust you, Lord. We know that we are in the palm of your hand. People who also make this a thanksgiving seed, giving thanks for all that you have done for us this year. Lord, I thank you even for business people that are watching, ministries that are watching, who say that we are ready to sow a seed by faith because we are trusting God for some exciting things to happen, for things to shift. I declare a shifting now in your life for doors to, to fling open now in Jesus' name, that you will not lack any good thing, that you will never come across closed doors. I speak and declare perpetual doors of opportunity to come over your life now in Jesus name, in every area, in your business, your ministry, your finances, your health, your relationships, favor of God to locate you now in Jesus name. Father, we speak your blessing over every single one. We thank you for this time of year as we reflect on your goodness, that truly joy unspeakable has come to this world. The fact that Jesus Christ was born in a manger, in a little town of Bethlehem. Father, I thank you. I thank you that you love the world so much that you gave us your one and only son so that all who might believe in him might not perish but have everlasting life. We thank you for everlasting life. We thank you for life and life abundant. We declare that we are blessed to be a blessing as we remain in the overflow, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you can go to the website, dominion.org.za forward slash give. If you would like to partner with us on a monthly basis and be one of our Dominioners, go to dominion.org.za forward slash partnership. Thank you in advance for your generosity. Thank you in advance for opening up your hearts and standing with us in faith. And even if you say you cannot do anything, well, pray with us, stand with us, because there is power in prayer and the prayer of the righteous availeth much. I want to just end off with this as I didn't start with this this morning. It's Psalm 65 11 in the New Living Translation declares that you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow or drip with abundance. And that truly is what the Lord is wanting to come and do in your life. I also want to give you an opportunity to study, to study the word of God to come and study at Dominion Bible School. You do not have to quit your day job. You do not have to relocate. You do not have to move to us here in Somerset West or, or, or Cape Town of South Africa. You can if you want. Um, the, you know, the more the merrier. We, 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 we really need all hands on deck for what the Lord is wanting to do in our ministry and also in our lives and in this community in 2024. So you're more than welcome to come and relocate to Somerset West and to come and join us. But you do not have to as it applies to Dominion Bible School. So you can start at any time. You can enroll today and you could already start tomorrow. Uh, that is how quick and easy it is. So you can start at any time. You can study from anywhere. We've got students from various parts of South Africa, parts of Africa, and then also even abroad. And uh, the incredible thing is the partnership that we've entered into with this university based in the United States of America, uh, they are already operating in 30 different countries. And um, so there are many, many different uh, areas that are available to you. But even if you're in an area where they might not as yet have a head office, uh, you are more than welcome to still join. The internet, in essence, truly knows no limit. So go to dominionbibleschool.com. And you can enroll right now. You can apply online. It takes only a few minutes. We've recently updated the, um, the overall application uh, system. And um, it makes it more, well, it makes it easier and more efficient than ever before. So applications will only take about two to three minutes, depending on how much information you need to share with us. Uh, so it, it really is a painless process. It's quick. It's efficient. So get in your application. Do not wait until January or February. By that time, you could have already, you know, progressed maybe, you know, 5% or 10% um, as it pertains to your studies. If you've got time now, don't fill your mind with all kinds of series. Don't fill your, your heart or your soul with all kinds of other, 
you know, worldly books, study to show yourself approved. Even if it is that you do not anticipate going into full-time ministry, well, you do not have to, you know, um, necessarily go into full-time ministry as it pertains to you, uh, you know, being one of the fivefold. Even if you just want to be a blessing to your pastor, there is a course that's available for you. The certificate in ministry is most definitely something for you. But if you would like to actually go and, and focus on entering into the ministry, we offer not only certificate, but diploma and then also bachelor's. So at your bachelor's level, this is where you can begin to um, choose certain electives. So th there is, for example, a, a bachelor of uh, apostolic ministry, if that is something that you feel called towards. There is also a bachelor of prophetic ministry. There is a bachelor of Christian education. And uh, there's a Bachelor of Christian Counseling. So there are so many different courses that are available. And that's not that's just the undergraduate uh, programs. Then there's postgraduate, which takes you from your honors, your master's, your doctorate, and all the way to your PhD. So there's, there's so many different options. But the website explains everything pertaining to the entry requirements, pertaining to the program fees, and also um, how we go about certain things. So all of the information is to be found on the website. And then also finally, we would love to invite you to come and join us at Dominion Church this Sunday. So come and join us Sunday, 10 a.m. We've got a campus in Somerset West as well as in Worcester. So uh, come and join us, be part of the festivities and the celebration. And then also Sunday morning, uh, sorry, Monday morning, Christmas morning. So Monday morning, 25 December at 8 a.m. We're going to get together for a very special Christmas celebration service right here in Somerset West. So it's going to be Sunday morning, 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. So it's only going to be one hour where we're going to get together as families, as friends, and uh, just celebrate the goodness of God together. So there's, more op there's so many opportunities available to you to come and join us and to be part of something bigger than yourself and to be part of history in the making. So from all of us, all of us here from Somerset West and the Western Cape of South Africa, if we don't see each other again before Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and to your family. If we don't see each other again before the new year, a happy, prosperous new year, 2024, to you and to your family, and also by extension then to your business, ministry, and any other part that you may have a role in.